Uh, hello everybody. What's up? Sorry so much for the delay. I was out of town and I was uh, just lazy. I was just being lazy. But uh, I don't have too much time. This is another solo episode. I don't have too much time to record. I have to go pick up my uh, car from the workshop. But I think we have some funny ideas. Uh, some of you guys in the Discord have sent some very funny ones. And I feel like we can find a radio show real quick. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right. This idea was sent in by uh, Discord people. This was uh, Yemrot for the most part and Screechy kind of riffed this together in the Discord. So this, one should be, this is a very funny idea. Thank you for calling Gallery. How may I help you? Hey, how's it going? My name is Michael, but my uh, my friends call me Cash Money. I just had like a kind of a random question about the store. Yes, what's your question? Uh, it's kind of odd, but I was wondering if you guys do like group discounts because uh, I'm part of like an inner city gang, and me and my friends, uh, there's like seven of us, we're trying to get like a gang initiation tattoo. <laughs> for real. Yeah, yeah, we're part of like this like dangerous gang, so we all were wonder we all like want to get the same tattoo. And was wondering if there's like more than six of us, if there's like a kind of a discount. Um, I think we do do discounts. How many friends is it? Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be about seven seven of us. That's how big oh, the gang seven. is. Okay. Um, are you guys uh, over eighteen? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're all over eighteen. We didn't want to get into okay, gang and- life until like we're adult. You, uh, say that one time? We didn't want to get into, like, gangster lifestyle until we were, like, adults. Mm-hmm. Okay, alrighty. Um, and do you know, like, what symbol you want to put on you, or... Yeah, it would just be, like, a... like that? Like, small text along our chest. It would just say, like, danger or something like that. That's tough. I like that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to be, like, really, t- like, tough guys. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Um... Give me one second. Can I put you on a brief hold? Yeah, of course. I have a tattoo. <laughs> Hello? 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 Uh, I think I lost you there for a <laughs> second. Are you still there? No, it's okay. It's okay. Here. I have a tattoo artist here. I'm going to pass you over to him, okay? Give oh, me one epic. second. Hello? Hello? Hey, what's going on? Hey, good. How can I help you? Uh, hey, so my name is Michael. Uh, my friends kind of call me Cash Money, and I was wondering, me and my friends were starting like a like an inner city gang, and we're wondering if there's like mm-hmm. group discounts on a, like a group of people who are all getting the same tattoo if there'd be any discounts. Uh, by the same artist, probably. If it was different artists, probably not. But if you could do the same artist, they'd probably give you a discount. Yeah, it'd probably be the same artist. Just like a, just like the word trouble across our chest or, like, maybe danger. Something like something that would just, like, establish us as, like, a gang. Yeah, man. Sounds good. All right, would you be able to do that? Because w- we can go online and, yeah. uh, and yeah, start that process. Yeah, we could do it. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much, man. You got it, man. All right, bye. Yeah, like thank you, uh, thank you, Yemra and Screechy for that idea. I like that. Almost two weeks since I recorded an episode, so it's a little easier without guests, though. To be honest. Shampong. Yeah, no problem. Hey, hey, how's it going, man? What's up? Hey, I was wondering if uh, you guys, uh, if you guys pawned and uh, if you guys would buy a knife from somebody, because some uh, it's got to be U.S. made. It's got to be U.S. made. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's really old. The only the only catch with it, the only thing that like is turns some uh, pawn shops away is this knife was used in a satanic ritual, and I'm trying to get it out of my house. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we. It's. I mean, I, you can bring it in, and we'll take a look at it. Yeah, it's like an ancient dagger of sorts, and I, it's got bad juju, man. I, I just got to get it out of my house. Right, I get that. Uh, yeah, just bring it in. We'll take a look at it. I can't guarantee you we'll take it. Okay. But at least it'll be out of your house for a little bit. It's like a, it's like <laughs> a, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because, uh, man, I knocked over a bunch of stuff the other day, and I could have sworn it was that. It's like a vampiric dagger, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I got, I mean, I hear there's some kids in there right now. You might want to clear them out of the store if I happen to bring it in. I, you know, I, I don't want to curse to oh. befall on them or something. <laughs> You're good, man. Yeah, just bring it in. We'll take a look at it. We'll see what we can do. All right, we'll figure it out. Thank you so much, man. Yep, no problem. Uh, this is going to be one of those days where everyone <laughs> everyone just believes everything I say. Hello, me, may I have you? Uh, hey, Hello? I was wondering if I could place an order over the phone. Yeah, you want to be pick up or delivery? Ooh, let, me, let me pick up. Sorry, I'm really tired. I just got out of work. You want to be pick hey, up? Yeah, 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 it would be pick up. Which location? You want to be pick up? I'm sorry? We have six locations. Which one you want to be pick up your order? The one I'm calling now. It's the closest to me. You're calling now which one? The Can one I'm calling. Okay. Can I have your phone number? Oh, it'd be 512. Oh, what, kind of low, what, what kind of low mains do you guys have? Chicken, beef, shrimp, vegetable. Which one you want? <coughs> oh, oh, sorry. I sorry. I I kind of dozed off there. What what kind of do you have? Oh, you can go to our website to order from the website to pick up. Okay, I just do it over the phone. Okay. I'll just do it over the phone. It's easier. So what do you want? Um, I'll have the chicken lo mein, the what sides do you guys have? One order or <sighs> one and a half order? The, uh, like a half order of sides. Like what? <laughs> okay, this was one sent in, uh, by again, uh, Discord. Nolan. Austin Bud Signs, may I help you? Hey, how's it going? I had, a, I had a, just a kind of a random question. All right. Uh, Let me see if I can help you. Can you guys make like smaller signs, like just like a smaller, like maybe a stop sign size sign? Yeah. Yeah, we go from small to large. Okay, just, perfect. Uh, you can Ye just send us the specs and then uh, what you want on it. Yeah, because... Uh, I was driving. I've been driving down the road, and my my neighbor's kid just keeps running out in front of it. So I, I want to, you know, Ooh, put a sign yeah. up for him. I want to put um, autistic child crossing. I got you. Yeah. If that's yeah, okay. We can do that. Yeah, and you guys yeah, just just whatever size you want. And okay, per I don't think the child is autistic, but I want to like it. It's acting like it is, you know. So I want to yeah. be able to put that there is kind of like so the cars slow down and maybe the parents try to yeah. get it tested or something because this kid is just you know gotcha yeah sometimes they are impatient and will do what they want to do so yeah, yeah that's good yeah that's I, good. I, I believe the child is autistic so i think yeah. it would be it would be you know just good for the whole neighborhood and yeah absolutely yeah everybody will appreciate it yeah, so if I Let just... Let me send, give you our email address, and that way you can send us the information, and then we can... And go from there? Okay, yes, perfect. Sir. Thank you so much. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, perfect. All righty. All right, thank you so much. And just if you'll just write down what you want on the sign, what size you'd like it. Awesome. And then we can go from there. Okay, right. perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Customer service, may I help you? Uh, hey, how's it going? I had just a quick question. Okay. So I bought a I bought a grill from you guys a couple of weeks ago, and I've been I've been trying to use it in like. Um, just use it, but it's been so hot outside, and I so I brought it inside to cook with it inside, and I was wondering how. What kind of grill? It's what just kind of grill. Just like one of those propane grills that you guys sell, like one of You're it's crazy. meant for outdoor. Did you blow up your house? No, I'm just I just turned it on. I just <laughs> started using it, and I was wondering how I stopped the gas smell. You don't use it in the house, guy. Why tighten, not? Tighten your tighten down where your propane connects to your. Lord. 
What? I don't understand the problem. It's the same as using like a stove inside the house. It's just like an aesthetic. Well, I'm just telling you, uh, we don't let propane tanks in the store. And I think any fire department person would tell you, you're kind of crazy. But, um, and it's probably not a good idea. But, uh, well, I'm trying to fix off. this thing. I don't know if it's not working. It doesn't want to work inside. Well, I get it. Maybe they're designed not... Uh, sir, I, I can't give you any advice. If you're so, uh, you know, throwing caution to the wind and using a propane, bye-bye. But I don't understand what the Ooh. caution is. <laughs> General question. Please hold while I try to connect you. Calling Larkin Out Booksellers. This is Maeve. How can I help you? Hey, I just had a question. I was wondering if you had any um, informational books about driving there, possibly. About driving? Yeah. I'm not seeing anything pop up. But what we could do if, is if you have a specific book in mind, we could order it for you. Okay. Yeah, no worries. It's just like a kind of last minute. I'm a, I'm with my kid right now. He's 14, and he he doesn't, he's, you know, he hasn't started to learn how to drive yet. Oh, yeah. Um, But I'm pretty drunk, and I need him to drive home, so I was wondering if there's somewhere we could stop where he could, like, just pick up on it real quick so he could drive me home. Oh, I, I see. Yeah, I'm... I'm I'm sorry that we don't have any books in currently on driving. It's all good. I mean, he's he's a witty kid. He'll adapt to the road. Um, but, you know, everyone likes their books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, thank you so much for your help. Yeah, of course. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I had a, just a super random question, real quick. Mm hmm So I saw on Google this was this was a farm near me, and um, my wife has been riding me about not taking the kids to a zoo, but I don't have zoo money right now, so I was wondering if I could pay you guys a little bit. We say it's a zoo, and I just kind of bring them by, and we're like, oh, look, animals and stuff. Um, I'm you know I'm a raw milk dairy and. Because of biosecurity, I don't let people... I don't treat them like a petting zoo. Yeah, of course. No, I wouldn't have them touch um, them. I would be like, oh, this is a gorilla. You have to stay far away. And it's, you know, the animals that you have. No. These kids are I, I just, These kids are dumb. Work. I don't... I, I just don't have people come in and... You know, I sell milk over the gate and... Yeah, I, I totally understand. Could they look at them over the gate and I'll just be like, that's a rhino over there. Because, like... No. <laughs> I she, think you're being silly. Well, she's, well, she's riding me, and, and these kids are, let me tell you, they're dumb. So, I think, I don't know. I'm really just shooting in the dark here. I'm sure you can, if you, you know, save up a little money. There's a, um, I think there's a place in Manor called the crow's nest or something like that where you can go see farm animals and stuff. I'm, I'm sure you can find somewhere to go. All right. That yeah. is open to the public. Yeah. She, well, she's just mad. I'm spending all my money at Applebee's every night um, with the fellas. So it's just like, she's like, you don't have money to take us to a zoo, a zoo, a zoo. And I figured it'd be cheap to just go to a farm and tell the kids that, that look, this is a, this is a gorilla. And maybe it's like a cow or something. These kids, they won't know the difference. Um, I hope they're not that stupid. Well, you know, this generation. Well, I hope you try to improve their lives, not just treat them like they're dumb. Yeah, well, maybe one day. All right. <laughs> Talk to you later. All right. Bye. Well, thank you so much. Yay, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> those are kind of those are kind of fun. I like these solo episodes. Um sorry. Those are dumb, but you know, we have fun. And uh 
it was good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for putting up with the wait. I know I've been, I've been a little, I have been a little lazy. That is on me, but also I've been like traveling a lot and stuff. But these are going to keep coming and maybe the solo ones. I'll guest every now and then. But thank you guys for joining the Discord. That's huge. Please join that. Uh, you guys have been sending in some great ideas, and I like seeing the community kind of build. Uh, but like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff, and I'll see you guys around next week.